What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Friday, January 28th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are for today's slate. And finally, shout out to Yahoo for sponsoring this video. Go to AwesomeO.com slash Yahoo dash promo. Get yourself one free month of AwesomeO plus platinum, a little bit of a deposit bonus. We got tons of tools for Yahoo behind the paywall, which you'll be able to check out with that free month. So don't sleep on it. Sign up now. We round out the bottom of my top 10 with Kevin Porter, Anthony Simons, Cody Martin, Bismack Biombo, and Hassan Whiteside on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It is time to find out. In first and number five, we've got CJ McCollum. He is shooting guard eligible. 30 bucks, projected for 44. The goal is 50, and he is in the optimal lineup 16% of the time. I gave him 36 minutes. 1.2 1.2 fantasy points per minute, 27 real points because he's got 31% usage with no Dame, five rebounds and five assists as well. And the biggie, they gain three possessions over their average by taking on Houston. Houston's got a terrible defense and they play faster than any other team in the league. This is about as good of a spot as you're going to find for Portland. And that is why you should take advantage of McCollum. And as you can see, Anthony Simons in at number nine. We're also not done talking about Blazers. At number four, you get the number one contender on both FanDuel and DraftKings. That's Miles Bridges, power forward eligible, 3,400, projected for four, sorry, 3,400, $34, same thing. Projected for 43, goals 54. He's in the optimal lineup 18% of the time. Is slotted to play 36 minutes. That could be even more if Kelly Oubre happens to be out. 1.2 fantasy points per minute in this spot because the Lakers are pretty fast. They gain two possessions over their average. 22.5 points for Bridges, but 10 rebounds as well. So in for a double-double, three assists and two stocks. 36 minutes is probably the floor if this one's competitive. And it's possible that the Lakers don't have LeBron James or Anthony Davis. That'll make it look even better for Bridges. 34 is a lot, but I think he's well worth it. Back to the Blazers at number three. That's Norm Powell, small forward eligible, 24 bucks. Projected for 34. The goal is 44. He's in the optimal lineup 20% of the time. I'm giving him 36 minutes, 0.95 fantasy points per minute. Does do a little bit more scoring without Dame, but it's not as big of a jump as you'd think. He just looks good for the matchup. 21 points, four and a half boards, two and a half assists, a stock and a half. It's basically one and a half of everything. Huge pace up spot though against Houston and should be able to score at will. Whether you're going to Powell or McCollum or Simons or even somebody else, you're not going to regret getting two trailblazers tonight. At two, we go to Charlotte again, back for LaMelo Ball, point guard eligible, 3,800, projected for 47. The goal is 58, and he is in the optimal lineup 20% of the time. I gave him 34 minutes. It's that same matchup that Bridges has. Pace up spot against a Lakers team that could be down their two biggest stars. 1.38 fantasy points per minute here for Ball. 21 and a half points, nine boards, and eight assists means he's knocking on the door of a triple-double as just a simple median projection. Might actually get two stocks here too. 38's a lot, but again, I'm happy to go to Ball. I'm happy to go to Bridges. I'm happy to go to them together. And if Kelly Oubre happens to be out, these minutes are even more firm. The Hornets don't generally open up their rotation. They just play all of these guys even more. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are. And then go to awesomeo.com slash yahoo dash promo and get all the goodies. Free month, deposit bonus. You'll see all the details if you follow that link. My number one contender for today actually has a Q tag. That's Robert Covington. So if he is in, he is power forward eligible. Just $18 projected for 32. The goal is only 38 and he's in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. Give him 34 minutes. He's been playing a ton and now we have no Nas Little. Now he is questionable, so keep your eye on it. But that Houston matchup is a dream. 0.95 fantasy points per minute for Covington. It's a little bit of everything, 11 points, eight and a half boards, and then two assists, two steals, and almost two blocks, so three real stocks here. Just take advantage of taking a, a part of Houston here. Anytime that you could roster guys against Houston, you should be doing it, but pay attention. We don't know if Robert Covington's going to play. If he does, he's one of the best values you'll find on this slate. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Friday, January 28th. DraftKings and FanDuel versions of this video are around here somewhere. Check them out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win that money. Back again Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.